What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another Attila battle for you. This time it is the Battle of Chalons, also known as the Battle of the Catalonian Plains. This is a battle between Attila and the Western Roman Empire and led by Flavius Attius. It's a battle that took place in 451. It's a few years before Attila's death, I'm pretty sure, which is in 453 uh, AD, obviously. And this is a, a 2v2 between uh, two Hunnic armies and a Roman army plus a Visigoth army because the Visigoths were a common enemy of uh, the Huns so they allied with the w Western Roman Empire in return for lands and uh, they fought alongside the Romans and the, it, in fairness we do have some Roman defectors we have some Gothic Palatina defectors here so that is uh, kind of ironic in a way but um, so yes we will get this battle underway it is with two other well, all subs uh, taking part. Um, so we have two two subs uh, fighting for the Huns and another sub fighting alongside me. So uh, we'll see how this one goes. See whether the Romans can win it like they do in history or whether the Huns will change history and defeat these two armies and continue to rampage Western Europe. But I mean, as you can see here, the uh, Huns are going very, very wide and are basically pushing back the... A Gothic Cav, which is, well, very much outnumbered, and we have my, uh, my Bane, as you may say. Uh, we have Horse Archers, Avar Horde, uh, Tier 3 Horse Archers, very elite, and these guys are pretty well chevroned up as well. Everything's pretty well chevroned up. We've gone to some pretty late uh, tier units mainly. There are a few lower tier units uh, dotted about. But it is mainly late tier units. And it already looks like there's been a bit of a cavalry engagement over here. I just saw the um, those two clash out of the corner of my eye. It looks like the Romans probably came out on top. Looks like a lot more dead Romans, uh, dead Huns and Romans. I mean, they are sending in step raiders and, uh, well, step raiders really. And they're going to just get outclassed by Equites Promoti, it would seem. Um... As we're what uh, as that was happening, um, it looks like the horse archers are getting a few shots off now on the spear masters and some uh, some cavalry, and they did get a few kills. So unfortunately, these guys died before they even got to have any taste of blood. They just died with an arrow in their leg or something like that. I don't know. But um, now we're sending over some archers to kind of just scare them off, and we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, now I mean the cavalry are kind of happy just to sit there. It would seem. But um, th while, we'll look, while, while we're waiting on that, we'll see what the Romans have brought. See what they're going to have to defend their lands with. They've got some or Western Auxiliary Palatina. These guys look insane. I do love these guys. We also have some Herculani Seniores. A very, very strong unit. We see them in the Battle of Milvian Bridge. If you haven't seen the battle, I recommend you go and do. It's a very good Roman Civil War battle, and they do perform very well. And we've got another unit performed well in that battle. The Elite Palatina. Um... These are a very, very good unit as well. We have the General Flavius Attius, who is uh, the Palatina Guard uh, unit. And we have some more Herculani Signores. We have lots of archers and lots more we Western Auxilia Palatina, it seems. So, it's a pretty elite Roman army. Isn't many chinks in the, uh, in the armor, so to say. But as that's happening, the Huns and the Goths are fighting. And, I mean, I'm going to say... And the, the Goths will probably come out on top looking at the armor just um, for first glance. I mean, look at these guys. These guys aren't well armored. The Goths, on the other hand, are pretty well armored. And there are spears turning up to the battle. These guys are pretty pissed. They got shot at from uh, point blank range. And uh, they're now going to be able to respond by killing some guys. I mean, these. I think these are uh, Shamans of the Eternal uh, Flame or something like that. Is that what they're called? But no, these are elite Hunnicut Lances, apparently. But they have bows on their back. I know the shamans have uh, bows on their back, but I mean, look at the amount of arrows going in here. And oh gosh, that was a pretty good jabby throw. I mean, gets a friendly fire, but I mean, mainly killing Huns. But I mean, there's so many. Uh, I mean, I think more guys are dying from bows than they are from actually getting killed by like the, the cavalry in here. But I mean, if we just put the hood on quickly, it does look like the uh, Huns are losing the battle. The Goths have actually beaten the Huns in a. Uh, in a cavalry battle, which is not surprising. I mean, the Huns have got a lot of good horse archers. Their melee cavalry is also nothing to be uh, ashamed of. But I mean, the Huns also, the Goths have also got good cavalry. And now the infantry engagement looks like it's about to begin. Gothic uh, Palatina defectors here, just 
taking some uh, some shots from the uh, boss room boss room warriors, which are making up the main chunk of the uh, the Hunnic infantry today. I don't know if they're going to throw anything back, but I mean they're forming shield wall or trying to. It'd be handy if some bows were firing, I guess, as well. I mean, it looks like we're also putting up some of our own bows up to shoot at their uh, their cavalry. I mean, it doesn't look like it did any effect, but it looks like they have won in that fight there against the uh, melee cav. It's whether they can then beat, continue to beat these guys. But infantry is going in. Bosran infantry going in against the elite Palatina. Not elite Palatina. Um, Palatina defectors. There's a lot of Palatina in this battle. Um, I imagine that these Goths may come out on top. I just think that the Roman Roman infantry is generally is better. I mean, you can see there's always some fleeing. Well, I say that as some Romans also flee. So, I mean, it's very, very close to tell. I mean, some more spears over here. Getting ready into position. Make some flanking positions. What have we got here? Some, oh, some uh, cho chosen Uar warriors. These are some pretty elite swords with their tin hats. I, I don't know why I call them tin hats, but they just do look a bit like tin hats. I mean, they're going to certainly even up the battlefield. Um... I mean, my general's already going in after their general, trying to get some kills. I mean, he's a medium bow cavalry unit. If you, There is hope to actually get him. But, I mean, all the cavalry's now gone. It's been picked off by horse archers. So, it's a... Uh, I'm sending the spears back in because there's, there's no point having them out there. And they need to help out these Thracian Oathsworn, which are getting outnumbered and outclassed by uh, Chosen Uar Warriors. Mainly because these guys have just got, like, falxes, so they're not going to hold out well in a long melee I mean this unit seems to be doing a bit better but I mean they're pretty beaten up as well actually they're losing as well these chosen new are warriors are pretty damn good we're sending some uh, Palatina defectors into the rear here they come they're gonna cut down some of these guys after beating the boss friends they're gonna come down and kill some new are warriors brave brave men I mean they've already defected once what's to stop them again really but the shield, the circular shields, these guys, along with the uh, Western Palatina Auxilia, probably some of my favourite. The circular shields, very, very satisfying to look at. I don't know why, they just are. But the Romans have now gone to combat. We'll have a look at these guys. I mean, I'm not quite sure what this formation is here. They're kind of just going in at an angle. But I mean, some elite Palatina now going in. They'll cut down some boys. Some Uar warriors getting killed. No mercy. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. What we need, I mean, we did outnumber them initially from the start. Um, if it's going to... I don't know if the, it's going to come up. But, I mean, we are now... Uh, the advantage is with the Huns ever so slightly. I wouldn't know... Let's just have, let's have a look at the chaos. I mean, the, yeah, if you look at that, we outnumbered them by about 500. I mean, but look at this. Slow-mo. Very nice. Some great... Some great battles going on. Hey, it's cow warriors. I mean, I, I don't know why I call them this, but I mean, they've just killed cows to put to make shields out of them. That's pretty. That's pretty awful. Poor cows. But we'll go back to normal speed, and we'll have a look at what's going on. But I mean, oh, more cow warriors, and they've they've got a lot of these guys. I mean, these guys are the lower tier like spear infantry that I was talking about. Like the lower tier units. I mean, already the general, the Palatina Guard are being sent in. The general Atius is having to go in uh, and show his uh, show his face and prove to his men that he's not a coward either. Herculani Senoris with a golden armor. I mean, they're they're just mopping up all these chosen Uar warriors. I mean, Roman infantry, even in this period, even when they're doing badly, like. Generally, across the, uh, the front, they still have some quality infantry. They are being surrounded. There's now some step spearmen here coming around to surround these guys. Who are warriors as well. But I mean, look what happened to the Gothic army. I will. Uh, I asked myself the same question, but the general has just fallen, and uh, that is going to wrap up the Gothic army. It's coming down to Rome to win this. I mean, we've got some spearmasters left, which are holding the line. But I mean. These boys aren't going to hold forever. They're losing against archers. You can't lose to archers. Come on. That's not allowed. You 
cowards. No breaking. Hold strong. Oh, God. There's arrows coming in. This, look at this man here. This is just... You just killed a bear. If this man's killed a bear. Well, someone's killed a bear for this man. Then, uh... A few huns, you know, that's not too bad. You keep fighting. In fairness, a bear doesn't have a sword and bow and arrow. And he's died because of that bow and arrow. But, you know. And there we go. Cavalry coming in. I just saw that. I heard, well, heard it. And, yeah, that's going to wrap that up. That, that's the... There's one infantry unit left for the Goths. They're now going in to surround all of this. This is a huge encirclement that's going to happen here. If these Goths get into position. I mean, and they're not great units. I mean, it looks like the Romans are winning the uh, infantry battle. The cavalry battle, not so much. These Western Auxilia Palatina really needs to go and mop up these step cataphracts and other stuff. Um, oh my gosh, the general here is going to get just plenty of kills. Killing all of these archers, I imagine. Um, this is kind of a waste of archers and ammo. Really needs to get some spears over it to kill these guys. The Hunnic Warband here will do some, uh, we'll just mop these guys up nicely. But, I mean, look at the bodies here. I mean, there's going to be more bodies on the ground in a minute, but this is in a bloody battle. It has lived up to the name of the Battle of Shalons, and just like that, all of those infantry broke with that encirclement there. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. They have plenty of stuff just getting ready and coming into position. Just as. We have uh, a final stand by these uh, cow... The cowboys are dead or running. Poor cowboys. They're not... I mean, they're not cowmen. Cow, cowboys makes it sound like they're from the West... Western America. Just with their revolvers. If you had a couple of them, that'd be pretty handy. But, I mean, no. They're... They've just got cow shields. They just look weird. The Germanic Spearmasters, the last final Gothic unit is getting just peppered down. We have another bear man here. If you kill the bear, sir, I want you to kill at least a hundred uh, Huns. I mean, the uh, Herculani Signori's over here just been chasing down uh, for some reason these archers. I mean, they're just going to get picked off. Um, but I mean, it's now coming down to this. I mean, it's pretty close. Balance power is fairly close. Uh, numbers are pretty even as well. It's now in favour of the Huns, numbers. Which is not good, so it is looking like history is going to be changed at this moment in time. But, they have a lot of infantry left to the Romans. And the cavalry, there's a lot of cavalry left for the Huns. And they're running out of ammo, I have a feeling. Let's have a look at the Hun quickly, see who's got any ammo left. I mean, the Hunnic Warlord here has a lot. Um, all the horse archers here have run out. And this step chieftain has, well, no ammo. Because he's not got, he's just a... Uh, unit without ammo, but all these archers as well run out of, or nearly run out of ammo. These two have got ever so slightly got a bit left. So, yeah, they're, they're probably gonna have to send in a lot of stuff just to get like, I don't know. Just to kill, I don't know. you have got to have to send some stuff in and get killed. I mean, we're cheering now, for some reason. Why are you all throwing javis? I have no idea. That's gonna be just causing friendly fire like hell. But it is just Romans and a few Goths left. Who will win? in this great fight. I am, I'm going to put my money, well actually I won't say because I fought in this battle, I, and that'll be a bit uh, unfair, but um, I mean, let me know in the chat who you, uh, in the chat, in the comments who you think is going to win. Um, and don't watch to the end to, uh, and then put it, because I'll know, I'll know deep down inside whether who you think, uh, if you cheated. And there we go. The final goth Goths have broken. I mean, I don't know how this guy thinks he's going to get out. He's just staring at some Huns. But here we go. Cavalry now in here. Getting involved. They're just causing havoc. The Romans now must hold strong. But, I mean, they've got some pretty elite units here. Uh, elite Palatina. Um, Herculani Signori's Western Auxilia Palatina. My favourite of the unit, probably favourite of the units. They also still got units over here. They probably need to lure these guys. They need to get these guys over here. I know that they're, they're trying to just keep these guys occupied, these Huns occupied, but they really need to just surround, get these guys surrounded, and then if you can break all of these archers and maybe this general, that could be huge, because that would leave them with just about as much. Because this is all it's come down to. It's so close. More Huns, br more Huns break. That is great. I mean, these archers really need to uh, use up all their ammo, which they kind of have. 
They are breaking, so thankfully they're gonna go in and die probably with no ammo left. If they'd had full ammo or something like that, that'd be a real shame, but these Sagittarii are gonna get overwhelmed. I mean, these Chosen Noir uh, archers are actually kind of good. And some cavalry going in here. Oh no, they kind of peeled off at the last moment. I was really expecting a good charge, but they're going after some Western Auxilia. And that's not what we wanted to hear. We really needed the general to stay alive to hope this battle was going to survive. But the elite Palatina, they look like they've had enough. Uh, Hercule and the Senores also looking like they've had enough. It's coming down to these units. This is a pretty strong unit, pretty fresh. Come on, kill this man. Don't let him just bash your shield. Stab him. All right, or maybe not. But what is left? The hood. We'll look, bring the hood on. Yeah, two spear units, two Western Auxiliary Palatina. And uh, Herculani Senoris are pretty. They're all pretty fresh, in fairness. But it's whether they can hold. Oh gosh, no! They pull away at the last minute. Don't charge it. Don't f chase Cav. We need to just break everything here. Kill some generals. If we can kill some generals, there's a hope because they've got no infantry left. But it's whether they commit any. This guy a bit looks a bit gothic, to be honest. He looks a bit, but he's not. They're all gone. All those goths. They didn't serve their masters well. They're Roman masters. But I mean, this cavalry, here, this cavalry here hopefully could get cut down if it stays here long enough. An enemy general has fallen. Excellent. Keep killing some guys. Keep killing them. No. Don't flee. The battle is changing in our favor. Oh, God. That's pretty brutal over there. I've just seen that one. Oh, and that was it. Wow. That charge basically... Uh, Ended the battle. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the battle. So, I mean, pretty much massacres for both these... Well, not massacres, but heavy losses for both these armies. A valiant defeat. Um, the Spearmaster's getting 193. Probably the best unit did well for me. For me, uh, playing as the Visigoths. I mean, another one getting 189. That's pretty solid. Um, Gothic Palatina defectors getting 124 and 170. Very good. Thracian Oath Sworn getting 115. Bit of a disappointment. I've seen these guys get upwards of like 300. So, I mean, it would have been great to see them getting a similar sort of number. But they didn't. That's unfortunate. Um, so, maybe you should have just got some more Gothic Palatina defectors. My cavalry did okay. It kind of just got drawn out by their own cavalry. And... Uh, and massacred, but it did kill quite a lot of the uh, Gothic cavalry itself. Uh, let's look at Aiden's army, who was playing as the Western Roman Empire. Lots of kills with his Western Auxilia Palatina, which is what I love to see. 188. His Elite Palatina getting 116. And his Herculani Signoris, I mean, most of them getting nearly 100 kills. One getting um, over 200, getting 270. His Archers did okay. Um, but not great. And his Cav did okay as well. I mean, they did defeat quite a bit of Cav of their own, uh, mostly the Step Raiders, um, before getting killed themselves. So, I mean, they did very well. So, we'll have a quick look at Fozzy Fox, who brought, who was the uh, Hunakami fighting the Western Roman Empire. Um, Step Chief Tain getting 347. That's got to be one of the best, probably, um, in kill-wise. I mean, is, is I think he lost... No, I don't think he lost his general. I think it was the other one that lost his general. Um, 118, his boss from infantry, pretty solid. Um, Chosen Uar Warriors getting 167s, quite good. His archers getting over 100 kills for all of them, very, very good. His cavalry did a bit more disappointingly, but uh, overall, in well, he did very well himself. Um, and then Microsoft PowerPoint, a great name. Do love that name. 100, uh, 491, sorry, <laughs> for its Unic Warlord. Wow, nearly 500 kills. I'm not sure what they were quite. They were hunting down, but they did very well. I think this is the general that did die in the battle. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's unfortunate for him that he did lose the general. But I mean, it was well worth it for that amount of kills. His horse archers, the bane of uh, my army, getting mostly over 100 kills, and then his cavalry. I mean, some of the shamans of Eternal Sky. There you go. That I thought they were on the battlefield. Um, didn't do so well. They're also like got uh, arch capability, but they didn't do as well. Um, elite Hunnic Lancers also kind of just got roused quite quickly. His arch is getting 203 kills, and his yeah chosen to our warriors getting 166 and 139. So very very good. So I just like to thank all the uh, subs that took part. Couldn't do this battle without you guys. And um, if you guys enjoy the battle, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, just comment below as well if there's any battles that you want me to try and reproduce. Um, I'm always open to any anything, really. Um, but anyway, guys, I will say goodbye for now. So until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.